I'm Brooke Alvarez. Let's get right to our top story tonight. Congress today reauthorized funding for Facebook, the massive online surveillance program run by the CIA. According to Department of Homeland Security reports, Facebook has replaced almost every other CIA information gathering program since it was launched in 2004. After years of secretly monitoring the public, we were astounded so many people would willingly publicize where they live, their religious and political views, an alphabetized list of all their friends, personal email addresses, phone numbers, hundreds of photos of themselves, uh, and even status updates about what they were doing moment to moment. It is truly a dream come true for the CIA. Much of the credit belongs to CIA agent Mark Zuckerberg, who runs the day-to-day -day Facebook operation for the agency. The decorated agent, codenamed the Overlord, was recently awarded the prestigious Medal of Intelligence Commendation for his work with the Facebook program, which he has called, quote, the single most powerful tool for population control ever created. Among the biggest successes of the Facebook program is Operation Farmville, which the CIA credits with pacifying as many as 85 million people after unemployment rates rose dramatically. Other features, such as the suggested friends window, have been instrumental in allowing government agents to infiltrate deeper into the friend networks of suspected dissidents. For some expert analysis now on the story, let's check in with the Fact Zone's first responders. Jason, you have written extensively about the Facebook program. Why is it so effective? Well, one of the key reasons is that the CIA has been so thorough in convincing the nation that constantly sharing information about everything that you're doing is somehow desirable instead of deeply unsettling. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the critics are saying that with the national debt being so high, is this really the time to be spending even more money on spy programs? Well, actually, the Facebook program saves the CIA money. That's right. Uh, like the Maps application where you list every place that you've been, whether it's at the state or a country. Or oh, right, with the little pins to show where you visited. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, like that. that kind of information would have taken the CIA months of going through uh, hotel receipts and plane tickets to figure it all out. The, the manpower that Facebook saves is yeah, huge. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and the calendar feature even lets the CIA know where you're going to be in advance. So that's right, a, so now if they want to pick you up for questioning, all they have to do is see which events you RSVP'd yes to and then send their agents to be waiting for you. That's how they got my brother. Yeah. That's right. So effective. Mm -hmm. But guys, with all the focus on the Facebook program, is it taking away from some of the other CIA programs like the Twitter initiative. Oh, and, yeah, the funding for that should be cut entirely. Right, 400 billion tweets and not one useful bit of data was ever transmitted. Oh, that's true. Now, is this trend of social network information gathering dangerous? I mean, just last week, the New York Times revealed that Al-Qaeda has designed Foursquare to mm -hmm. identify popular locations for bombing. Well, actually, Brooke, that's been uh, discredited as any kind of real threat. The people that use that site are people that no one would mind seeing bombed anyway. Yeah, so, like, really, the, the only okay. thing the CIA has to uh, be concerned about is people losing interest in Facebook and moving on to a new social network site, like the Chinese site Wanbi. I love Wanbi. Are you guys on Wanbi? Oh my god, yeah. it's so much more fun than Facebook. It, it is great. I love that one. I love that you can earn friend points, the more state secrets that you post. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a lot of contacts in the State Department. You know, I think I could really rack them up. You should post them up. <laughs> I should. <laughs> All right, first responders, thank you so much as always. You know, I'm of course a big fan of any social networking site. It allows me to interact with my fans without having to see, hear, or smell them. Well, it's taken months of preparation, but it's finally here. Today, Mark.